cases the next that we are going to talk about is a collection of values okay uh, we basically call it uh, you know the most common collection that we deal in salesforce is a list okay. some programming languages they call it an array you must have heard of array in case you have done some programming somewhere in your life if not then just forget about it list is collection of values so so far whatever we are talking about is a single variable a single value in a variable like string s can hold only one string okay a uh, account a can hold only one account record now let's understand how do we define a variable for multiple records or multiple values that's called a list okay and how do we define a list that's pretty simple all that you have to do is if you have to define a single string a variable for a single string you should just say string uh let's say string color equals red and if you have to define a list of strings then you should just say list of so this is how a list of string is defined okay so to say list of string give the name let's say colors equals new list of string red and green blue fine so this is how a list of strings can be defined the same way if i have to define one single account record then i say account a equals a uh, new account okay <clears throat> this is one way of defining a uh, you know s object variable and this you will use this new account if you are you know uh, defining a new account record which already is not in the database all right but if i am defining a variable for a record which is already in the database then i can also use an soql query to fetch the data this is how it is written account sorry could you repeat your statement jit yeah just give me one minute let me write it select name type industry for from count okay so new account when you say account a equals new account you are basically trying to refer to a record which is not in the database right but if you want to refer to a record which is already in the database and you want to fetch the value from there you can write it this way also account a equals select name type industry phone from account table let's say where name equals and you have something so now what happens here is that this record goes into my variable a right so if i'm dealing with a record which is not in the database i should be saying account a equals new account if i'm dealing with a record which is already in the database then i should be uh, doing it this way and after that you can say let's say a dot phone equals and then you say update a <clears throat> all right so this will what will this do this will go and, and find the record in your database where the name is dell india and it will go and update the phone number for that so we may have either of the requirements we might need to uh, deal with a record which is not in the database or we uh, might need to deal with a record which is in the database we need to fetch the value from there and then update or delete or whatever got it so now how do we define a list of uh, accounts the same way for list of account you should say list of account 
is it is equals select name type industry phone fax from account where let's say okay just this let me not write here plus so this time this variable can hold all the account records okay so this is a collection of records which is getting stored in this variable acts all right so all these all the account records are getting stored in this variable fine so when you define a list where a list of s object that can hold multiple records okay clear on this so this is how we actually deal with list of accounts or list of any other record so i i can also now say that for contacts list of contact tax equals so that first name last name email from contact right Color equals to red. That statement. Okay, and just below one, that's green color. I'm getting confused with this. This one. This. Yes. First one. Yes. Okay. First one. Actually, I'm getting confused with this two. Actually, color and color. Uh, Let's stop this thing. This is a variable which can hold only one string, and this is a variable because it's a list of string. It can hold multiple values, so that's what we have done. So colors is the variable which has three uh, strings: red, green, and blue. This is a variable which just has one uh, value inside it, which is red. Fine. So sometimes you so need to define. Uh, just one second. Uh, sometimes you need to define a variable which can hold multiple values right that is when you will use list so whenever we want to use list of uh, record we need to define it using new new keyword we can ha list of this is not the list of records this is list of values na this is not a record red is not a record it's just a value right it's just a string so here you can yes so if you have to define a list here you should say new list of string and this way you have to give the values to it got it but if it's it is uh, just one single value you can directly assign the value color equals red but now i cannot say color equals red green blue then it will not understand so what you have to do for that this is the syntax for defining a list got it okay any other questions or doubts on this so what this means this string colors equals new list string so this let me copy this in that line the same thing can be written like this also or some sometimes you will find it written like this
ओके so sometimes you also might find this thing written as this okay so this this and this this list of string and this are same okay there is no difference all right in some programming language lists are defined like this so for that reason uh, just to you know um, introduce that factor salesforce also has this uh, way of defining a list but i mean most of the times you will use this list keyword you will define it like this some programs you will find it like this so if it is defined like this don't worry just understand it's just a list nothing else all right and ji there is no difference between both no no difference exactly same and just that the way i'm writing is different just everything is same okay so uh, <clears throat> that's about you know the basic uh, data types that we are going to discuss yes sir yes, that's also correct so uh, now we have understood the basic data types of apex uh, in tomorrow session we are actually you know uh, going to start creating our custom controller so we'll see you know how we can actually create a custom controller and we will you know start working with small small examples using the code now we know the data types so we'll start defining the data types and variables here and then we will call them on the visual force page so that's how we get started so uh, now we are going to start on uh, you know creating the custom controllers and you know eventually once you do a few examples your understanding about custom controllers keep on becoming you know clearer all right <laughs> Deep uh, one favor actually. Uh, last session 